So what you should already appreciate about Link Online through Office 365 is that we can schedule a link meeting directly from our Outlook. So if we go into our calendar, once we have Link installed on our desktop, you'll see that we get a new link meeting button. So if I press that, that will then allow me to go into uh, my calendar, schedule an appointment, invite people as you normally would. You'll see that because I've pressed the link meeting button, um, the lower area will be populated automatically with all the information that people need to join that meeting by simply clicking on that link. You'll also notice that I have a meetings option here. So here I can nominate who um, will remain in the lobby and who will be a presenter. So uh, by default, there'll be no one uh, waiting in the lobby and anybody within your organization, so within your Office 365 tenant, will be considered a presenter. Now, we can achieve the same thing when we don't necessarily have access to Outlook. Now, we can do that through a browser and we basically load up our browser and then go to a site called shed, S-C-H-E-D dot link dot com. Um, that will then take us to a familiar Office 365 login prompt. So we simply log in with our credentials here. So any licensed link user under Office 365 will have the ability to go to this site and to create uh, meetings. So what we'll see in a minute is we'll get a banner letting us know that we've connected to the uh, link web scheduler and then it will bring us into a familiar area where we can start putting in the parameters for um, our meeting. So again, all of this is done directly through a browser um, and it works on the same account. So we'll see here that we are able to, for example, give our meeting uh, a name, um, some details. We are able to uh, set the time zone and the time that the meeting will commence. And you'll see again, we have the options here to determine who will bypass the lobby and who will be a presenter. So these will be the um, same sort of options we have in Outlook. Down the bottom, we also have the ability to um, invite anybody else to the meeting. Now this can be an external party if we want, um, and they will be sent basically invites. So once we've done that, we'll just save the information. It will then give us um, the information we can copy and paste and the URL to allow us to connect to that meeting. So if we click on that, um, that will obviously uh, connect us to our meeting. So we can copy and paste that and send that to anybody. We'll then be taken to our My Meetings area. So you'll notice at the top here, I've got a Create New Meeting, which I was just in. And now you'll see this is the, li the list of the meetings that I have created. Now, here's my meeting here. So this is the one that I have just created with all the details. Now, if I want, I can obviously go in and edit the meeting. I can uh, view the meeting info, which is just the link we just saw. And if I want, I can actually export that to uh, an iCalendar. So what that'll do, if I press that, you'll see that it will um, download and save that file as an iCalendar request. And we can then attach that and send that to um, our uh, other attendees via email if we want. And of course, we can delete the meeting if we don't, didn't want. And finally, we can come into the web schedule and click on to join the meeting directly here. So we, again, we don't necessarily need Outlook to uh, schedule the meeting or to join the meeting. We can do this directly from the link web scheduler. Now, the other thing you'll see, notice in the list of meetings here is that I have a number of other meetings that I have scheduled uh, via my Outlook. So what we've got here is we've also got the ability to see these and view these details. Now, you'll notice that I get a banner that says I can't make any changes because I didn't create this meeting using the web schedule or actually created it in Outlook. So if you created an Outlook, it will appear in your web scheduler, but all you'll be able to basically is to view the meeting details and obviously join the meeting if you want. So important to remember that the other option if you want to access your uh, link information uh, and create meetings, attend meetings, um, all that sort of stuff that can be done directly through a web browser. Um, you go to shed.link.com and that will allow you to log in with your credentials and then access that information as well as create new information. So nice and easy, your ability to create and access all that sort of stuff directly through a browser without the need to have Outlook on the desktop. So once again, thank you very much for watching.